Hey, it's Greg Stone for Red Catfish with another interesting list. Here's 20 animals you probably didn't know existed. The Naked Mole Rat. The forbidding environment of East Africa's deserts is home to one of the most bizarre rodents, the Naked Mole Rat. These beauties wouldn't win any pageants, but they are fascinating animals. Yes, these odd little creatures with pink, wrinkly skin dig in, live in underground burrows the way moles do. The Sunda Flying Lemur. Different from bats, flying lemurs do not really fly, but a membrane stretching from the forelimbs to the tail called the patagium allows them to glide from tree to tree. They are completely arboreal, being nearly helpless on the ground, and are able to travel over 100 meters forward in a single glide with relatively little loss in elevation. Flying lemurs are active at twilight and at night. The Taper Zoo visitors often ask, what is it? A pig? An anteater? No, it's a taper, a primitive animal that has remained unchanged for millions of years. There are four known species of taper today, all of which are classified as endangered. Tapers are becoming rare in their occurrence areas, the forest of Central and South America and Southeast Asia, mostly due to habitat destruction and poaching. Tapers have a short prehensile gripping trunk, which is really an extended nose and upper lip. They use this trunk to grab branches and clean them of leaves or to help pluck tasty fruit. The Emperor Tamarin. Emperor tamarins are found in various types of light, dry bottom to terrestrial dense Amazon forests. Emperor tamarins usually dwell in trees below 80 to 95 feet. The Emperor tamarin was named because of its elegant white mustache, which is thought to resemble that of German Emperor Wilhelm II. The White-Faced Saki Monkey. Saki monkeys are smaller monkeys with long, bushy tails. White-faced Saki monkeys are given that name because the males have a white ring around their faces, although the females do not. Both males and females are a grizzled brown color with slight white streaks on the side of the nose. The Saki is a New World monkey and is found mainly in the tropical forests of Brazil, Guyana, Suriname, and Venezuela. The Proboscis Monkey it may seem hard to believe, but male proboscis monkeys use their fleshy, pendulous noses to attract mates. Scientists think these outside organs create an echo chamber that amplifies the monkey's call, impressing females and intimidating rival males. The proboscis monkey is natively found on the island of Borneo. The Sun Bear Also known as the honey bear for its love of honey, the sun bear is the smallest of the world's eight bear species. The sun bear can be clearly distinguished from other bears by a white or yellowish patch on the chest. The sun bear is found primarily in the forest of Southeast Asia. The Zebra Diker The Zebra Diker is an unusual species. It's a mix between an antelope and a zebra. The Zebra Diker is a highly distinctive, medium-sized, rather stockily built diker with a spectacular striped coat. The general color is pale orange, darker on the neck and shoulders, with about 12 vertical brownish-black stripes on the side and rump. The forehead and cheeks are reddish, the muzzle is slate gray. Both males and females grow short, tapering horns, which are used to defend their territory. The Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle is a species of freshwater turtle. The turtle has a broad head and small eyes close to the tip of its snout. The carapace is smooth and olive-colored. Juveniles may have dark-spotted carapaces and heads, with yellow around the carapace. The Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle can grow up to 6 feet or about 2 meters in length, and it's the world's largest extant freshwater turtle. The Angora Rabbit the Angora rabbit is a variety of domestic rabbit bred for its long, soft hair. The Angora is one of the oldest types of domestic rabbit, originating in Ankara, Turkey, along with the Angora cat and Angora goat. The rabbits were popular pets with French royalty in the mid-1700s and spread to other parts of Europe by the end of the century. They first appeared in the United States in the early 1900s. They're bred largely for their long wool, which may be removed by shearing or plucking, gently pulling loose wool. The Star-Nosed Mole The Star-Nosed Mole is easily identified by the 22 pink fleshy appendages ringing its snout, which are used as a touch organ with more than 25,000 minute sensory receptors known as Imer's organs, with which this hamster-sized mole feels its way around. 
With the help of its IMERS organs, it's perfectly poised to detect seismic wave vibrations. The Okapi The gentle, mysterious Okapi appears to be half zebra, but it's actually the closest relative of the giraffe. Along with having a relatively long neck compared to its body size, the most striking feature of the Okapi is the horizontal stripes that are particularly visible on their behinds and give this animal an almost zebra-like appearance. Okapis are hard to find in the wild. Their natural habitat is the Iteri Forest, a dense rainforest in Central Africa. Okapis are very wary, and their highly developed hearing alerts them to run when they hear humans in the distance. The Thorny Dragon The Thorny Dragon, also known as Thorny Devil, is an Australian lizard. This scary-looking lizard gives the phrase, you little devil, a whole new meaning. Most of these lizards are colored in camouflaging shades of desert browns and tans. These colors change from pale colors during warm weather to darker colors during cold weather. The Lowland Streak Tenric, an extraordinary looking family. The Tenrics exist only in Madagascar and have a greater diversity of form than any other family of insectivores. It's a small animal with a long snout and limbs and a vestigial tail, pelage black with yellow longitudinal stripes dorsally, light beneath with scattered quills, some barbed and detachable. The Babarusa. Found in the swamps and rainforest of Indonesian islands, Babarusas have barrel-shaped bodies balanced on delicate deer-like legs. The most well-known species of Babarusa is distinguished by its naked body and massive curving tusks. The Gobi Jerboa. Typically, the jerboa has a mouse or rat-like head and body, cat-like sensory whiskers, owl-like eyes, squirrel-like to jackrabbit-like ears, kangaroo-like back legs, prairie dog-like forelegs, and a disproportionately long, sometimes tufted, distinctive tail. It's found in the Gobi Desert located in northern and northwestern China, as well as in southern Mongolia, and is considered to be the most desert-loving out of all Gobi rodents. The Pink Fairy Armadillo Pink Fairy Armadillos have small eyes, silky yellowish-white fur, and a flexible dorsal shell that is solely attached to its body by a thin dorsal membrane. In addition, its spatula-shaped tail protrudes from its vertical plate at the blunt rear of its shell. This creature exhibits nocturnal and solitary habits and has a diet that is mainly composed of insects, worms, snails, and various plant parts. The Pink Fairy Armadillo uses their digging abilities to burrow in areas besides large ant colonies. Ants provide a constant food source for this species of armadillo. The Sloth Sloths are tropical mammals that live in Central and South America. Most sloths are about the size of a small dog, and they have short, flat heads. Sloths have long, sharp claws, which they use to get a good grip when they're climbing trees or hanging from branches. The sloth is a slow-moving animal, and their long claws are the only form of defense that the sloth has. The Tarsier The Tarsier is a small species of primate that is found inhabiting the well-vegetated forests on a number of islands in Southeast Asia. Tarsiers are arboreal, tree-living, and jump through the trees to catch their food, which is mainly insect-based, although can include lizards, snakes, and birds. Tarsiers have a body covered in fur that can be an ochre brown, gold, or gray in color. The Tarsier's flexible neck allows its head to swivel around 180 degrees to help it scan for prey or predator. This is necessary as their eyeballs do not rotate. The Tufted Deer The Tufted Deer is a small species of deer characterized by a prominent tuft of black hair on its forehead and fang-like canines for the males. Tufted Deer live in Northeast Burma, Myanmar, and Southern and Central China. Tufted deer live in forested regions at high altitudes, between about 300 and 4,600 meters above sea level, and in rainforest and high altitude valleys. Their habitat is always near water. For more unusual lists, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Red Catfish.